One of the most popular requests I'm getting on my channel is how do I do the terminal slides you see me using almost in every video. So today I wanted to show how it's done and share with you something I've been working on to make this process easier for everyone. So you can see here uh, we have an actual GitHub template repository that encapsulates all the things um, that I am doing with my presentations. And we are going today through the process of using it to create your own slides. So let's go quickly through what do we need to have before we start. First of all, uh, this particular template uses Just. Just is a command runner, very similar to Make. Uh, it's just a little bit better and um, focused on running commands rather than building. So you can see here, Just repository. <clears throat> You can install it, and uh, that's one of the prerequisites for using slides. Then the, the core tool that makes this all possible is Slides. That's the name of the tool. And you can see here, um, this is done uh, by Masalani. A very nice tool. There are quite a few similar tools. You can see there's some alternatives like Look at Me, Slide.dev, Presenter, and so on. I find this tool to be the nicest and um, I worked with it for a while now and uh, it's really nice. So you can read all about how you can create your own presentation uh, as in the content of it and what you can do with it. Um, <clears throat> I am often using diagrams in my presentations to show certain concepts. It's a little bit better than just using words and you can use those two optional programs. One is called Plant UML. Uh, if you don't know, it's just a diagramming tool, which is a Java-based command line that enables you to create um, various kinds of diagrams, sequence diagrams, use cases, and so on and so forth. Sequence diagrams specifically are supported uh, in ASCII output, so a text output. I connected PlantUML and integrated it within a just file that you will see in a second. If you want to have a diagram, there's an easy way to, to do it. However, uh, component diagrams in PlantUML do not render well uh, in ASCII mode. That's why I am using GraphEasy, um, which is a Perl module that you can install with Cpan. So with those two tools, they are completely optional. You don't need to... Um, use them, but if you want to create diagrams, there's a way for you to do it. So how do we get started? Um, first thing to do is to uh, actually install the repository or template rather. So here you can use a GitHub CLI command to create a repository based on this template, and then you can make it private or public. And here is your name of your repository you want to give it and you can clone it so that's a very easy way to have just this command and create a new repository with slides whenever you need it one important thing to note is that you need to make sure that the slides um, file and both just file have executable permissions they already have it in the repository but in case you need to do this all the slides all the diagrams things that you want to execute and need to have executable permissions. This is mentioned on the slides repository, but I wanted to reiterate again, because otherwise um, the content will not render in slides. You can create diagrams, and from there you can simply work with the slides.md file, like you've seen me on many of my videos. So let's see this in action. So I can see here I have a presentation um, that just shows you what you can do with it. We're going to quickly go through it. So this is a title uh, using a program called Figlet uh, and boxes. Um, all those details are in just file. Here is an alternative program uh, called Toilet that also can create the boxed titles and they look a little bit nicer than just a regular text. Here's an example of a graph easy diagram. This is just an HTTPS handshake diagram. You can see nicely rendered uh, 
ASCII components uh, with arrows and uh, it's uh, much better to uh, show concepts in this way. Here is another diagram, this time in PlantUML. Um, this uh, in shows a sequence of DNS resolution. What you can also do, you can run code inside of the slides. So I can hit Ctrl E by default and you can see this is the content of the folder that the slides file is currently in. We can also run actual source code in this case, which is going to run simple go hello world program. And you can see that we can print it out to STD out. And another way of uh, showing an interesting um, boxed output to make the slides a little bit uh, more fun to work with. So let's check the slides file itself. Uh, So you can see the way we are working with it here. We have a front matter <coughs> that references a theme.json. This is a um, Glamour theme compatible file and it's essentially, it's like CSS for your presentation. It helps um, with formatting and colors and so on. Uh, if you want to format the markdown in a specific way. Here you can see I am using bash and those triple squigglies uh, tell slides um, program um, to run this. So I am running the just command. I will show those commands in a second. And this just recipe will essentially render this title with figlet. And kind of continuing in the same vein, you can of course put here any text you want. You can format it with markdown headers, um, quotations, you know, anything would work and it would get rendered in the slides. Those things are just automatically loaded and resolved uh, when you run your presentations. And here is this control E that you've seen me doing and various other, um, other things. So that's the slides themselves. Um, you can put anything here. Uh, every slide is separated with this three minuses and you can read more about it in the slides page. So let's let me show you the just file. Just file. If you don't know what just file is, again, just a similar to make. I made a video about it. I, you should see it somewhere on top now, and just otherwise search my channel. Um, so what the just recipe do? You can see here uh, when you run slides, you can run them by using just recipe, so just present, and you have to provide the author. And the author will just use said to replace the front matter that we've seen earlier with your name. Otherwise, you have to replace it yourself in the front matter. Um, here we can use programs like Figlet or Toilet. You can here is a helpful commands to show all the fonts available and all the filters uh, and all the boxes that you can use um, to make your presentations more interesting. And here are very simple scripts that run the diagrams. So you can see here we have just a regular bar script that um, takes the diagram name. And the diagram name is going to be rendered as a name of a file inside of the diagrams folder. So you'll notice that there's a diagrams folder here. And this diagram contain the actual um, source code for the for the files, for, for the diagrams, and the rendered ones. So in this case, uh, we have this TXT rendered and the PUML is being rendered in the temp directory. So that's how the PlantUML diagrams and GraphEasy diagrams are being rendered. You can change them inside and you can call as many diagrams as you want. Here, another recipe, you can use a free text and here I am using figlet. I could use toilet or other things, or you can style it however you want. And if those tools are not installed on your system, then it would just render the regular text. So this makes it easy to, um, to work with it. Uh, I encourage you to have like um, different snippets. So for example, I can do snippets slides underscore pre, and that gives me this little squigglies and bash, and I can just, uh, so, just pre 
text and then I can say hello I'm not sure if this is actual free text let me check again free text with one word free text hello and we can close it and I can run slides and see if we have this free text you can see hello uh, rendered here in our in our free text so that's it uh, for today just wanted to quickly show you how you can use this slides template and create your own repository and quickly start working with terminal based slides like you've seen me doing on my videos hope you find it useful um, let me know what are your use cases for the terminal slides and uh, have fun with it see you in the next video